eat your biggest nut. Here you are. Would you like me to crack it for you? No, thanks. It's for Russell. It's his birthday present. Hmm, you sure you don't want a bag of nuts? All he asked for was a single nut. She sure is a big one. Abracadabra! I'll wrap it. Then we'll be all set for the party. Party? They're having a party and didn't invite me? I'm the best party person ever. Getting the biggest nut and wagtail was pretty easy after all. Oh, that's not the biggest nut in town. That'd be the coconut. It's the biggest nut in the world, and it's far too big to fit on my shelves. Hmm. I don't know, Becca. Do you think we have time? We'll make time. The biggest nut in the world is right here in Wagtail. Let's go get a coconut! Woohoo! Uh, where do we go and get a coconut from? <laughs> you can find them at the beach. See? One problem solved already. Thanks, Lola. Come on, adventure's calling. <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on in here? Where's Lola? She's taking the day off. We're running the store today. It's our Mother's Day present. Woohoo! Mom, what are you doing here? It's your day off. Just checking in. A whole day off might be too much. The store would never recover. You don't like our present? It's the thought that counts. Butter, flour, sugar. Looks like somebody's baking a pudding cake. Mother's Day present? Yep, part of one anyway. I got big plans for moms. Well, good luck. Hurry along now. She'll be home from work soon. Lunchtime already? Come on, guys. Happy Mother's Day, Lola. Bye, Bun. We better hurry if we want to make it back before the snowstorm starts. We could get blown away by the wind! Or get a little chilly, at least. <laughs> Calm down, Pedro. Everything will be fine as long as we have... <laughs> oh, no! They're out of acorns! No acorns! No sweet, savory, nutty acorns! What am I going to do? It'll be okay! Acorn! 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 Are you sure? No acorns? Huh? Is it true you're out of acorns? All right, all right, everyone. I'm expecting a delivery of acorns any minute. More than enough to last through the snowstorm. That's a relief. Phew, I knew you wouldn't let us down. About those acorns, I hit a bump and they bounced out. Strangest thing you ever did see. Did I say we were getting a delivery of acorns? I meant horns. Half-priced, aisle two. Hey! <laughs> no acorns! I can't remember the last time I tasted an acorn! You just ate one about a minute ago? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what to do, Becca. I can't leave the store. We can catch those acorns, Lola. Are you sure, Becca? Thanks, but we've got this. We always know what to do when adventure's calling. I'll take my phone in case we need help. Then go for it, and good luck. Let's wing it! After those acorns! There you are. Better late than never, I suppose. Are you both ready to see what it's like to run a store? Well, that sounds like... A lot of fun! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goody. We need to build a tin can pyramid. I'll do it! Why don't we all work together as a team? Work as a team, huh? I'll try anything once. Let's get started. Hi, Lola! Hi, kids. So, you're here to pick up Benny and Shelly, huh? We sure are, Lola. Benny, Shelly, come to Becca. <laughs> Um, I don't think they want to come to Becca just yet. 
<laughs> Don't worry, Becca. I'll show you how to get their attention. Rap and clap. Rap, rap, rap and clap. Rap and clap. Rap, clap, rap, clap. My name is Lola. I'm the rapping mama. It's fun to pay attention. So listen when I mention that I don't have the time to chase you kids around. But I know I'll win you over when you hear this sound. It's rap and clap, say. Rap and clap. Rap, rap, rap and clap. Rap and clap. Rap, clap, rap, clap. Rap, rap, clap. <laughs> Come to Becca. <laughs> that was great. Thanks, Lola. You're welcome, Becca. Okay, Bill, Phil, Will, Lil, Jill, Dill, and Barry. Tidy up time. Are you sure that will all fit, Sylvia? Trust me, Mayor Lady Mess. I am an expert at fitting lots into just one bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids. Why don't you go and play with Russell and Pedro? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for shopping at Lola's. Please come again. What excellent service. You bunch sure are a terrific help around the store today. It's all part of the Wagtail Ranger's promise to make our community the best it can be. Plus, by lending a hand, we can earn our shopkeeping badge. <laughs> Morning, Lola. Have you heard the news? Huh? There's no bus service today. Poor Ringo has a cold. Oh, dear. No wonder he hasn't picked up his usual lunch order. Mm -hmm. oh, poor Ringo. Maybe we can take him some soup. Mom's always makes me soup when I have a cold. What a wonderful idea, Becca. And here's a card to make him smile. <laughs> He'll love it. Back soon. Bye. <laughs> yes. The bunnies and I were at Mayor Lady Mouse's office this morning. I was returning a storybook I had borrowed for the bunny's bedtime. Was it this book? Yes, that's the one. Sleeping Beauty. When we got there, Mayor Lady Mouse was taking a nap. So I just left the book on her desk. I didn't want to wake her up. Shh, bunnies. Come on. Let's go. Hmm. Did you see Mayor Lady Mouse's pearls? Yes. They were on her desk, I think. We didn't stay long. The bunnies were being so playful, especially Barry. Hmm. How exactly was Barry being playful, Lola? Well, doing things like this. He's been moving and rearranging everything in the store all day long, putting things together that don't match. If Barry's been moving things in the store, maybe he moved the mayor's pearls too. But how can we find out for sure? Through investigation. Come on, salutes. <laughs> Cereal and a jump rope? And this fruit juice has been stacked on top of this skateboard. There's a hat in the spout of this watering can. None of these things go together. So why did Barry move them? I was helping. You need to keep the sun off your head when you're gardening. And skateboarding makes you thirsty. And if you want to skip around all day, you need to eat your breakfast first for energy. Helping! <laughs> That's wonderful, Barry. What a good bunny you are. Barry, did you by any chance meet the mayor's pearls? You know, to be helpful. What are pearls? Ooh, a broom. I wonder where that broom is. I was so sure Barry had mixed up the mayor's pearls with something else, but he doesn't even know what pearls are. <sighs> I think we better go and tell Mayor Lady Mouse the bad news. We can't find her lucky pearls. We shouldn't give up on finding the pearls just yet. Would Lucy Clues give up? You're right, Becca. Lucy Clues never gives up on a case. So, what would she do in this situation? Uh, <laughs> aha! Return to the scene of the mystery, retrace your steps, stay calm, and the answer will come to Mayor Lady Mouse's office. We got the clubhouse.